Hello guys, family of five here. In this video, we're going to discuss about one of the most important camera settings that you must master on your DJI Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic Zoom or any other drone for that matter that allows you to control these camera settings. And that is the aperture or f-top. In this video, we're going to discuss what it is and learn what aperture to use in different situations when you're flying your drone. So stick around because we're going to make this very simple to understand. All right guys, so let's dive into the video. Three of the most important camera settings that you now can control with your new Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic Zoom are the aperture, also called f-stop, ISO, and shutter speed. And these are crucial settings that you must understand once you move on from your typical automatic settings that your drone allows you to film with once you get out of the box and you start moving into more advanced camera settings. Aperture or f-stop is the opening within the lens that allows the light in, meaning how much light enters the camera and hits the sensor. The camera lens has a series of blades that opens up and closes inside the camera and lets light in or out. The aperture is shown as a numerical value in your remote control once you open the advanced camera settings. In the Mavic 2 Pro, it goes from f2.8 to f11, and it means that f2.8 is the widest my camera lens will go and f11 is the narrowest it can go. At the beginning, you will find it a little confusing to understand these values because the lower the number, or the lower the f-top, the more light enters the camera, and the higher the number, the less light. Let me show you an example here. As you can see here, the more I lower my f-top number, in this case I'm choosing f2.8, the more bright the image will get and the wider the opening of the lens will get as well. On the other hand, the higher the aperture number I choose, the less light enters the lens and the more dark your image will get. Another thing to know is that the lower that number you choose for your aperture, the shallower depth of field you will get in your video, meaning that you will be able to isolate more whatever thing is that you're filming, and you will have a background that is less in focus or blurry, and that is a very far beautiful look that many people love. All right guys, so as you saw in this video, adjusting your aperture can affect the exposure in your video, meaning how bright or dark your images can get, but also can affect the depth of field. So in part two of this series, we're gonna be discussing about the ISO and shutter speed, and how all these come together to create a more cinematic look for your footage. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.